Thanks for stopping by. Make sure you subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And if you're interested in watching my videos a day before they're released, consider becoming a channel member. All three tiers get access to community members only posts. Every time I schedule a video for upload, I'll send out a link for all channel members to be able to watch it before it goes public. Click join to learn more about the perks. Welcome to part three of this base build. Link to the playlist in the description as usual. We will be going over the minicopter floor and external TCs in this video. Also check the description for Supers Paradise three times if you're interested in playing on a new Rust server and you might find me on there as well randomly. Welcome back to the base build. If you made it here from part two, we're finishing up the honeycomb on the outside of our starter base. Before you continue to this point, be sure that your base is fully upgraded or that you can upgrade it at a later point. By that, I mean, make sure that you can like reach every foundation and ceiling and stuff like that. In the past, I've had people complain about me flying when I do my honeycomb. Fuck you. Here's me doing it completely from the floor. I'm using B grade. You could just use a hammer, place your walls correctly so that they're all pointing towards the inside of your base. When I'm doing this part in game, I like to just come out with only the materials that I'm going to need in case someone sneaks up behind me if I don't have a partner watching me finish the honeycomb. So that's what it looks like. We're just doing it for the first floor in sheet metal. You can do it in sheet metal for the second floor if you want to, but probably could just be stoned for this part. But I did it in sheet metal because if you're a trio, you probably have a lot of excess from recycling. So you might as well just throw it in on the second story honeycomb if you're going to try to upgrade anything extra to sheet metal after this you don't really need to upgrade anything to sheet metal the rest of the base can pretty much be stone by the way i had to figure this one out on my own if you didn't know you can do that with the half wall right there just play that back for a sec it's a cool little trick that you can do with a half wall to get out we'll just finish up this side of the honeycomb from the top and then place all the ceiling tiles down we put three triangles on each side so that later on once we get to this point in the base it'll look like this and we've got a little bit of surface area to work with gives us some more stability for the top of the base because we could potentially build this up more floors than what i do showcase because you can duplicate farm blocks and you can duplicate loot rooms so what i mean by that is um, this base is like five or six stories i'm saying you could potentially have it go up like 10 or you could expand it from a two by two into a like like a two by four stuff like that you know what i mean you don't have to necessarily do exactly what this base is it's meant to be modular so that you can understand what each floor does and then uh, duplicate them if you want to or cut some out if you don't want something you know what i mean I created this uh, playlist series for this base build in a way to where it allows you as the viewer to kind of connect the dots on your own with it and give it your own personal spin for your group as the builder. So just kind of keep that in mind as you're watching this playlist. So here we are now having completely finished our first and second floor and the honeycomb on those floors. So that is our core of our base. Any further honeycombing that you do could be stone it doesn't necessarily need to be anything crazy because i suggest using armored doors you know and try focusing on running monuments or taking bradley or taking attack helicopter to get those armored doors so we're going up to our jump up now you know the jump up has been the same the whole time it's just three triangles and it alternates left to right for the ladder hatches or furnace jump ups or whatever you might be using so we'll put our uh, ladder hatch down and a garage door right here you could swap this out for an armored door later on if you want to for more protection but i mean like just these two garage doors and two ladder hatches right here should be fine at this point because it's just going to be stone for build cost so that it's not putting um too much of an impact on our metal fragment usage because at this point in your wipe you most likely are going to need metal fragments for things other than your base you know so now you can start using stone for your build so that you can start using metal fragments to craft other things so this is going to be our mini copter floor and then out here is where we will land our mini copter and then connect our landing pad if you so choose to build it otherwise i'm sure if you look at the walkthrough you can see the landing pad that i chose to do doesn't have to be like that if you don't want it to this is a different option that you could do doing it the way that i did in the walkthrough will just allow you to kind of uh, put some of your upkeep cost into a different tc because this base utilizes two external tcs you know 
so let's finish getting rid of this um, this was just like i said the demonstration of how you could build straight off of here instead of what we're about to do which is put a heli landing pad on an external tc so that we can reduce the upkeep cost on the main tc make sure you're not forgetting about your jump up to your fourth floor behind that garage door over there leave yourself access to your fourth floor if you wish to continue after this but if all you wanted was a heli floor and you don't want to go any further then this is it you can cap it off but i'm sure most of you are going to want to continue with the other stuff we're going to honeycomb the inside of this just to kind of you know add a little bit of sort of like an airbag to the heli floor if anyone tries to rate it another thing to keep in mind is you can direct the door to the heli landing pad anyway so you know what i mean if you're doing it you could have three entrances and you could have four external tcs and you know you could go crazy with it if you wanted to but that's up to you i just like one garage door to my heli floor and a little bit of padding with the honeycomb that we put down also on top now, if I'm not mistaken, I believe we are about to begin building our external TC. So if you don't know how to do that, we're just going to build out seven or eight foundations. I'm using B grade on a modded server. You're going to want to leave these as twig. So we're going out seven or eight foundations. And in this video, I choose to do the stereotypical TC bunker thing. You just do it like this, throw some roofs on top of here and then put your TC in there along with a bag and a box. To place the items first, you'll have to go back and destroy that first foundation though, to disconnect this whole thing and make it a completely separate base. Put your deployables down in here, get your upkeep for your TC in there. And then go reconnect it with a triangle after placing a wall to close it off. You can open it by putting a roof on the side. And you'll be able to access everything in there. Destroy it when you're done so that it's not exposed. And then replace down a triangle on the end, connecting it back. And I'd recommend upgrading all of that to sheet metal at the very minimum. We purposefully placed this first external TC below our mini copter floor because this is where our landing pad will go. If you are building your mini copter floor any higher than the third floor, you will have stability issues if you're trying to build a pad similar to the one that I'm about to build. But if you're on the third floor, this is how I built my landing pad. You'll have to go back up to your third floor, run all the way back up. I'm just going to fly, place a triangle down like that with two more like this. And you could leave it like this. This totally, you could totally land here with a mini copter and drive it straight in just like that but I like um, to use more than one mini copter sometimes. So I'll end up building out like this with the stability. And this is the part that I'm talking about that will not work if your mini copter floor is higher than your third floor. Sometimes I'll add these types of walls if I'm in an area where there's a lot of door campers and they're trying to shoot up at me when I'm taking off. Um, maybe even change that to full windows or shop fronts or something else to protect you if you're in a busy PVP area. Down here, you've got some space where you could build whatever you want. You could put like extra batteries out here for auto turrets and things like that. In the walkthrough, that's the part that I was talking about where we're not really going to get into it too much. And then you can do this as many times as you want to around your base. As long as each TC is around seven or eight foundations apart, you just break that off from main, come back over here, build your TC bunker base, and you can just keep on going with it if you wanted to put as many external TCs down as you would like. Seven to eight block radius away from each other is all that's required. You disconnect them from main, place TC down, then reconnect them to make the triangle. If you're watching this in the future, here's the past me telling you this bunker probably won't work. And the only reason I'm showing it is because people always complain that I don't use any bunkers or glitches. It's okay, well, here you go. I'm using one for the external TCs, which empowers your base to become stronger so that if you get raided, you can come back and just fix everything. If you want to make it a little bit easier on yourself, make that triangle wood so that you can disconnect and replace any TCs that get raided. I do forget to do that within this video. Make that triangle wood instead if you would like to reconnect them. But uh, I do have another video on the whole topic of external TCs, if you're new to that, so go check out that video on how to um, add multi TCs to your base. For the sake of the video, I only add two external TCs and 
Here is a clip again from the walkthrough of what the bass looks like completely finished. Now you can see how the rest of this playlist is going to play out. We're going to finish our farm block. We're going to finish our other floors, our control room, our wind turbine, the compound itself, things like that. I'll go over the electricity and pretty soon here in like part five or six, you'll see in the playlist, link down in the description to the playlist. Make sure you like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Press the bell to get notified for new videos coming out in the future. And I'll catch you guys in the next.